hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again this is tech pba so in this video tutorial i'm going to take you through how to connect your photocopier um, or your copier machine the canon ir2425i to your network so that you can print to it from anywhere on your network so i began by logging into the copy out with the administrator username and password um, you can change the admin password from the default to something that you, are, you can easily um, use so I went into the settings by pressing the settings key on the keypad went into the preferences and then from the preferences I went into the network section then in the network session there's an option that says confirm network connection settings changes so that was off so I, ena I enabled it this is by default um, turned off so you have to enable it so I press the OK button to save it and then I went into the TCP IP settings went into the IPv4 settings and then went into the IP address settings so from here I disabled the auto IP and then the DHCP options since the IP address we are going to set now is the is, is the manual IP address which is the static IP address this IP address is not going to change dynamically or any other way so we have to disable those two options so I went ahead and then typed the IP address in the IP address section or the IP address box 192.168.0.9 I tapped on the subnet mask to type the subnet mask address which is the class C subnet mask address system so I typed the 255.255.255.0 I later tapped on the gateway address and then I typed the gateway IP address using the keypad on the right of the control panel the gateway address being 192.168.0.1 and once that was all typed in I pressed on the OK to save the settings then the next thing I did was to connect one end of a patch cable a network cable into the port of the or into the network port of the copier machine the IR2425i copier machine you can also see two USB ports close to where the network port is on the copier and then what the next thing I did was to connect the the other end of the network cable the patch cable into a network port or a wall jack and then as you can see once the indication lights blink it means that your copier machine is connected to your network I pressed on the yes button to apply the certain changes as we saw on the screen the next thing I did was to go on my laptop and then ping the IP address I configured on the copier to make sure that the copier can be seen on the network and as you can see the reply says that the copier is indeed um, joined on the network or connected on the network so from there I logged into the web UI of the copier machine by typing or going on to Google Chrome and typing the IP address in the, in the address bar President and then later typed the administrator username and password and I clicked login so what we are viewing now is the web UI which is the web user interface of the photocopier or the copier machine the IR2425 copier so in there you can make a whole lot of changes you can check you can go into the paper settings and then change the settings pertaining to your paper size and whichever 
I went into the time and energy settings in there you can change your 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 time zone you can change the time the dates and then the time so I selected Casablanca which is my suitable um, time zone I also went into the dates. I changed the date to the day of the recording of this video, which is the 16th of October 2023. I also changed the time by typing it in the time box. And then I clicked on the OK to save the settings temporarily. I I went into the settings and registration again and as you can see there's a lot of settings there's a lot of changes you can make you can actually change the, the time format from 24 hour to the 12 hour format there are a lot of changes you can make you can configure auto shutdown settings which is um, configuring this so that your copier will shut down at some particular time of the day so under the network settings um, you can see a whole lot of network settings you can configure on this um, copier machine and then guys um, when 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 I was configuring the what when I was setting the IP address on the copier on the unit itself um, there was no section for or to type in the DNS address but on the web UI you get a, an area or a section to type a, the DNS address so which I type the Google DNS address and then click OK to save it and as I said you can apply a whole lot of changes on the web UI so once you, you are sure of what you've done, all your changes, uh, you click on the apply certain changes to apply all your changes that you've made on the web UI. And then also you can also um, reboot the copier remotely or re restart it by clicking on the restart device on the top left corner and then clicking on perform a restart. So this um, command will actually um, reboot or restart the copier machine uh, remotely. You don't have to be physically um, close to the copier to reboot it. You can do it from your laptop from anywhere on the network. Once the, the pings begin to time out, it means the copier is rebooting. And then once the pings start working again, and then the web UI refreshes to see the the page it means um, the reboot is done so i typed in the username and password again yes so guys this has been um, a quick video on how to connect your photocopier machine to your network the canon ir2425i i hope you've learned a lot in this video please subscribe to my channel tech pba like this video if you enjoyed it share this video and i will see you in another video bye